Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the governor and the throttle cable on your Yamaha G29 to get maximum speed. Now we do have the body removed from the back of this car just so that you can see in here better, but you can get to this governor adjustment by just removing the access panel. Now all you need to do to adjust the governor to get more speed out of these cards is tighten down the 10 millimeter nut on the governor itself. By tightening this nut down, you're putting more pressure on the spring so that the governor has to work harder to pull back on the throttle cable. I like to tighten these nuts down until there's about a half inch of thread still showing on the shaft. If you tighten this nut down all the way as far as it could go, you could cause premature wear on the governor itself inside of the rear diff. Now even after you've adjusted your governor up all the way, if you really want to make sure that you're actually getting full speed out of your cart, you need to make sure that your throttle cable is adjusted properly. A lot of times that's where the issue really is if your cart is slow, is the throttle cable is just stretched over time and it needs to be adjusted back to where it should be so that when the throttle is wide open, your carburetor is actually opened up all the way. Now this is a fairly simple adjustment to make, you just need to know what to look for. If you adjust the cable too tight, you can have very jerky or abrupt takeoffs because the carburetor is opening too early right as you start hitting the pedal. You can also risk breaking your throttle cable because the throttle on the carburetor is hitting the stop before your pedal hits the firewall so you're pulling too hard on that cable. But you can also have the issue if it's not adjusted far enough, you'll have to push quite a ways down on the pedal before the cart actually fires up to take off and you're not gonna get full speed out of it at wide open throttle. Now once you've pulled your floor mat up out of the way, you just need to remove this access cover to get to our throttle cable adjustment. Now a lot of times these cables are pretty rusty so it doesn't hurt anything to spray a little bit of lube on both your brake and your throttle cable. Now there's actually two different adjustments that can be made on the throttle cables. You have your primary throttle cable that runs from the throttle pedal back to the governor arm and then there's a secondary throttle cable that runs from the governor arm up to the actual carburetor or throttle body itself. Now usually you can get your throttle adjusted where it needs to be by just making changes here at your primary throttle cable adjustment. But if this just isn't getting your throttle to go as far as it needs to on the carburetor, you can make adjustments back at the secondary throttle cable adjustment. Now trying to get to that secondary throttle cable adjustment is a little bit more difficult. It's located right below the starter, just in front of the governor arm that we just worked on. But there is quite a bit of adjustment that can be made back at that adjuster. So if you need to, just play with both of those adjustments until you get the carburetor to open completely with the throttle pedal all the way down, but it also needs to close completely when the throttle is completely released. To make the adjustments on either the primary or the secondary throttle cable, you just need two 10 millimeter wrenches. Now we do have the body removed on this cart to see a little bit easier, but you can see that butterfly moving on top of the carburetor by just looking in underneath of the air box. Now on these drive ones from 2007 up to 2016, from the factory these carts are going to be set to run right around 12 to 13 miles an hour. But by making the adjustments that I just showed you, that should get your speed up around that 16 to 17 miles an hour if you're still running the stock size tire. Now really the only other easy way to get a little more speed out of it would be to go with a taller tire. You can run a 19 or even a 20 inch tall tire on these carts without having to do any kind of a lift kit on them and you won't have any rubbing issues unless you're gonna run a rear seat on your cart and you wanna be able to haul four adults. If you're just gonna have you know, two adults and a couple of kids on the back, you shouldn't have any issues. But if you put four adults on there with a 20 inch tall tire, you're gonna have rubbing issues. So you do have to put a heavier duty spring on the rear of the cart. Now just know that by putting a heavier spring on the back of the cart, it is going to affect your ride quality and the cart is going to ride noticeably rougher. Now we are just getting started on the build series for this Yamaha Drive 1. We're going to be installing a Predator 22 horse V-twin motor using the conversion kit from Vegas Carts, 
along with a six inch lift kit and a bunch of other goodies. So if you guys want to catch that build series, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you got some good value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.